Hello everybody, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 5 of our Planet Coaster Goose Hollow Let's Play. We're on the hardest, di harder difficulty challenge map. It is April of year 6. Our park is up to 305 guests. And when we left off, we were working on our brand new roller coaster. I think we've got enough guests now. Boy, we're going to have a lot of guests here once we get this thing done. But before we even uh, put the... Tr the uh, first, I'm going to pause it because there's no need to leave it running while we do this. Um, before we even start doing anything with it, we need to go through and smooth quite a bit of it out. But I think maybe we should... Uh, let's go on a test ride before we smooth it out so we can see where the kinks are. And I want to watch it this way. There we go. We'll just leave that as it is. Let's see how this goes. See, I don't like that we're almost at the bottom of the hill before we gain speed. That's a little jarring. Hmm, that is fast. Really don't like how fast that is. Uh, so maybe I should put the brakes there. Let's uh, let's look at a heat map of. Oh, that's not what I want. What I would like is a heat map. So the excitement is fairly steady. It's interesting that that this part is not very exciting. Um. Fear, fear is fine. Right here is really the scariest part, which is weird. Uh, but I guess it's because of the abrupt st stopping. Hmm. Um, nausea. Yeah, that's not so bad. Again, with that abrupt corner there, and uh, speed, of course. So we're at 30 miles an hour when we hit that curve. Well, I could see why that is an issue so all right well anything that we replace on here is definitely going to cost us money can i still control z my way out of this i cannot so i do want to replace this section and i think you know, I think I can maybe leave those brakes in there and just replace the rest of it. So I'll delete that. <clears throat> I think I want to go up one more flat now because we still have plenty of speed. I guess what I wanted to do is put the brakes ahead of... Uh, yeah, so there's no need to keep that on there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and delete that piece as well. Um, and I will uh, go backwards. And I'm going to put the brakes right here. There we go. I don't think you can set the speed for them or anything. Hmm. Yeah, that's for the camera stuff. Aha. Target speed. 10 miles an hour. But let's not slow it down quite so fast. How does that sound? Oh, I should have the optional catwalk on. That sounds cool. Now ah, you know what? Turn it off. All right. Well, I didn't know about these little sub controls, so that's good to know. Let's throw that in there. Uh, I guess I don't need to throw that in there because it's already been built. Let's go back to building track if I can. I just saw it give me a little there. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're going to bank. We're going to turn off the brakes. We're going to bank. Oh, that is a heck of a uh, heck of a bank. <laughs> Forty-five is way more than is necessary. Honestly, you're going very slow at this point. Eh, why not? And you're going to turn back to zero, I would say, like that. And then you're going to just connect. And that should be good. Now let's go through and smooth it. We'll smooth this section out first. Pretty easy to do. Smooth all. Oh, and that's as much as we can smooth it. 
Smooth banking, smooth all. Track, track limits exceeded. I'm not really sure what that means. Hmm. Uh, and we'll move you. And let's expand that a little further. There we go. We can smooth that out pretty well. Great. And let's just go back and there we go. We can smooth that section. I don't like that it's like changing the heights of things and stuff. All right, let's, uh, I can't quite push it back. There we go. Smooth this section out. That should be good. I don't, it seems like a really sharp drop there. All right, let's give it one more test here. Uh, we still haven't even placed our entrance yet. But that's okay. Let's go on a test run. Let's make sure we're at normal speed. Now see, that's smooth. Yeah, that's real nice. Last one, not so smooth. Oh, that's still super sharp. Huh. Well, I don't like that at the end. It does get the fear rating down. But that's so sharp at the end. I really need to adjust that. It's all right. It's not like we lost too much money. I'm going to pause it. Uh, can I control? That's going to undo the... Uh, hey, wait a minute. If I control Z, it would undo all the, the smoothing that I've done. I don't want to do that. So let's... Mm, there we go. And we're going to... I guess maybe put another break on there. Maybe I need two break sections. Is this one going to be programmed at the same way as the other one? It does look like it is. 10 miles an hour, 5 meters per second quite it seems like that should be enough uh, but if it's not we're going to smooth out this uh, return as well we're gonna get rid of the brakes we're gonna pull you back well all right let's pull you down and we're actually gonna go this way then we're gonna level out we're gonna go back and we're gonna make this a much more gradual turn And you're going to come around here. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, I guess keep going like that. I just not, how is it? Oh, I got plenty of room before I get back. So uh, and you should be able to handle that level of a curve. You're going to bank back to there. And does that line you up? It does. And then you're just going to go back in like that. And let's go ahead and smooth this section out. Looks pretty good. If I never stop doing this, boy, it is really, uh, really moving things around. I'm going to stop doing that. All right, let's give it another test here. The camera, unpause. Oh, I am looking the wrong direction. I'm looking at the most recent work that I did, I guess. Let's speed up this hill. There we go. That's fun. Looks like there's a fire over there. I have a boom rat attack or something. Oh, much nicer ending. Oh yeah, I like that. That's a ride I can enjoy even if it's super short. So not quite scary enough. I guess I took the uh, took the fear out of it by uh, smoothing out that ending piece there. Well, too bad. We're gonna go with 15 bucks for that ride. We're gonna turn you to a every 10 minute uh, maintenance schedule. 
All right, so I guess I will build the, uh, well, I guess uh, something that's important to look at is where you put the entrance and where you put the exit. So I'd like to put the entrance, actually, I usually put the entrance in the middle, like right here. I'm going to test putting it at the end this time, but you definitely want to put the exit right up there because that's where they get off the ride, and they'll go straight out through that door. And uh, you want your pawns, or you want your visitors getting out and uh, uh, leaving uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, because then you can start loading uh, more people on. Uh, I do like these. I like doing curved paths. Uh, or curved downhill paths. They're kind of fun. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with... Uh, they are finicky to work with, though. Uh, Alright. Um, oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, I will... Yeah, I'm going to go back around here, and I'm going to need to put some scenery in there, too. Uh, so I will take care of these things, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. We're back, and it is uh, May of year six. Uh, I've gone through, and I've placed some nice decorations around our roller coaster. Uh, I guess I didn't quite place all of them quite as well. I You should always... Uh, I guess you should always look at a couple of different angles to make sure that stuff is where you thought you had placed it. But I think it looks pretty good. It's not nothing too exciting. Uh, I kept the uh, trees back from the uh, uh, rail a little bit. Uh, they can be scary for riders to have the trees poke above the rail, I guess. Um, although it didn't seem to add any fear to the ride down here. Uh, I haven't really run it too much. Uh, I think it's only done like two cycles uh, between, uh, like while it was paused there and I was putting in scenery. Um, but I did most of this. Uh, a lot of it is templates. I used this oil template again. You can see the tree template is right there. Basically any of these trees that have stuff around the bottom means I use the template. And if the stuff isn't around the bottom, hmm. Well, you know what? How about I start paying attention to what else is going on in this game? Boy, all these rides are broken down. Did my mechanic quit or something? Close that window, please. Thank you. Mechanic? No, he's still here. I guess I need another mechanic. Just mm -hmm. drop him in. I am going to go ahead and hire another janitor as well. And I guess this is a good time to go over setting up uh, work queues. So you go to park management and you go to work rosters, create a new roster. Now I like to use this click to add and remove uh, button because uh, it basically allows you to be a lot more fine tuned with what you're going to use. So we're definitely going to do those three shops there and we're going to add that and we'll add that. So now every ride that I click on, you can see that as I click on it, it adds it and it doesn't unadd those other ones. We're going to go ahead and add that. And I usually like to have one ride that overlaps between the two zones. So we'll have uh, this be the one that overlaps between the two zones. And that's mostly so the janitors will walk up and down uh, in the area between your zones. If I did only these and then the next zone did only these, this path would never get cleaned up. So this will be my uh, entryway. And we're gonna save that roster. And we're gonna create a new roster and um, this will be all the rides over in this area. So now I want to make sure I click on the add remove thing properly. We start with that one. We're going to add all that stuff. We're going to add, I built a drink stand right here. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned that yet, but there's a drink stand there. So we're going to have all this stuff in here. And uh, as we build this area around here, uh, we're going to be able to, to have a name for that. So this is Western Town, I guess. Um, and that's the name of that park. We're going to save that. And let's go to our workers. We're going to assign <laughs> Neil here. We're going to keep you on the entryway, please. And no, you're going to go to Western Town. Can I promote you yet? Not until July. Uh, and mechanics, we're going to do similar... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to leave my mechanics running running wild and free. Let them figure out their own uh, agendas. Vendors. Let's trade this vendor up. Doesn't seem very happy. Give him a raise. 
Usually you get them past the uh, entry level training, give them a raise, they seem to be pretty happy after that. I imagine there's a benefit to promoting these guys, mm -hmm. um, but I don't, I mean, I, I'm sure it makes them faster and stuff. Still have a little trouble managing the workers. It's kind of frustrating. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not the end of the world or anything. So things are looking pretty good. Not making a huge profit, but our guests are staying steady. Why aren't we making a big profit? So last month, well, we spent a lot of money on construction. I guess we are making a pretty steady profit, 800 something dollars a month. And we're only at the 11th and we've already got 600 for this one. And we probably lost a lot of money last month because all those rides were broken down. Let's uh, let's take a walk through the park. Let's zoom up a little. Whoops, let's do this and we'll move up. That should be a good, a good level for going through the park at. Too bad I can't adjust the speed at which I quote unquote walk. Kind of like our little food area here. It looks nice. It's not amazing or anything. I always want to place more lights. Kind of want to have like five times as many lights as I do in here. There's no really, really no reason not to. I don't like that light not being. Uh, I guess it would make sense that I could. It's not like I'm in first person mode. I've just got the camera down here. So I guess it makes sense that I can move this light while I'm. Mm, while I'm down at this angle. Still seems weird, like I'm doing it by hand. What do our queues look like? Oh, hello. That bush sticking over into the queue. I don't like that very much. Carousel looks real nice from here, though. All right. Luckily, we can just jump through the bushes. We don't have to worry about following the rules. Let's see Western Town. Well, as you walk into Western Town, there's that nice train. Does look pretty good. Bunch of kids looking bored. Sounds about right. So if we were to go on uh, our classic first ride, oh, let's shut that down. I still haven't set any rides up with triggers. I think that's uh, kind of a roller coaster thing. Nice little scene as you're waiting for your ride. You can see some stuff over there. Take this secret. Okay, we're back on the regular path now. This ride. That doesn't seem to be a very popular ride. Maybe it'll be a little more popular once I get the path going through on the other side. But it has a nice uh, queue area. I could use some decoration in here, it looks like. This, just a bunch of templates. That one, pretty magical template right there. Look at that. Oh, now that is uh, that is some some exciting scenery there's uh that's one of my oh look there he is there's the guy hiding behind the uh coffin over there one of my little scenes at least it's flush to the ground there's another one of those magical floating uh floating camp sites this is why you don't get down at this level that ride looks pretty fun and then, of course, wandering up to our roller coaster. Hey, there's that guy hiding behind the coffin. Oh, bang. And then we walk up this path, and there's the floating campfire. That's a really steep path. Ah, there we go. And then uh, the weight, and then nothing out on that side. Pretty cool. Nice view from up here in the queue. Sounds like somebody just got shot. So let's turn back to normal camera mode. There we go. I think I'm going to going to run the normal path around here and connect up over here. And uh, I think we're going to just destroy this ride. I can't build any. Uh, I've got all the rides built that I have available, right? I don't have any waiting in. Uh, so I think I'm going to research. 
I'll research another thrill ride. And I'm actually going to research sci-fi theme. So I'm going to set those two researching. I'm going to start a marketing campaign for adults. That's going to eat up a bunch of money. Now it is August of year six. We are at 383 guests. And uh, we have discovered a couple of new researches. Uh, I also have an auto-renewing uh, advertisement going. I don't remember if I started that uh, while I was still recording, but that has been running pretty consistently. We're still making profit. Maybe not making so much profit right now. I have spent a lot of money in the interim. Let's go ahead and open up these uh, researches, though. We already know what the sci-fi is going to look like. A crazy classic. Is that going to be the zipper? It is the zipper. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite of their real rides, I would say. Let's go ahead and uh, compressed air swinging into action. So that sounds like a swing ride. Should I go for... Well, track rides and coasters are both equally expensive. I don't think I really need any of those yet. Facility... Well, it's pretty cheap. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And we're going to go for the thrill ride. But let's put a... Uh, well, first I'll show you what I did. I didn't do a whole lot, but I built... Um, I, I completed this loop here. So we've got the Western Town loop. Oh, there you go. Thank you, son. Um, and uh, I put benches and so forth in there. Garbage cans. I put a restroom over here. Um, so where should we put the zipper? In here, probably? Kind of, it would be fun to have it over here by the, by the roller coaster. But we do already have those lights set up and everything. Although I could I could run the queue through here and it wouldn't uh, it would be really nice, but we do have all this queue area set up here, so I think we'll go ahead and stick it. I don't know um, I don't know enough about the mechanics to know if like uh, having rides near other rides. Oh, I don't have the money to to buy that. Wow. I don't know if having rides near other rides will. Uh, let's uh, put those on pause. Um, if it will encourage them to go on the other rides, that was how it worked in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I should have looked at the money and uh, let it run a little bit longer until we had saved up enough money. Um, I showed you the the um, new zones and everything, and so we've doubled up staff. I have trained up our remaining uh, our secondary workers. Uh, they're not quite as happy. Rides continue to break down. So we'll get the zipper in here, and that will pretty much finish up Western World. I mean, we have room for a couple more rides. Uh, but I've already started. I laid out the path for Sci-Fi World over here. And uh, basically, we're going to, like, we'll connect this one over to Western World, I think. And maybe we'll connect these over into Sci-Fi World. I might just tear this one down, and, and well, I guess I should rebuild it. Uh, these rides break down so much. It's too bad you can't increase the uh, increase the reliability overall. All right, well that's good. That's a good thing about having the two mechanics and keeping them both not terribly busy. Although we we have all of our rides on ten minute maintenance schedules. We don't really need to have, uh, it's probably uh, bad to have these rides on every 10 minutes maintenance schedules because it does slow down the ride. Uh, so I'm gonna set some of these simpler rides. This one I might set to 20. Seems to be very, uh, very reliable. So maybe I can set you to 30. You have average reliability. I'm gonna leave you at 10. Uh, you're a, not a ride at all. Has the have the results changed? Doesn't seem to be any more exciting or scary than it was before. And I think people were thinking, what, that it's a good value? It's got a fast queue. Yep, it sure does, because despite all the people in the park, nobody seems to really want to line up for that coaster. Well, we just sat through a month. That was exciting. And um, I still don't have enough money to buy that zipper. 
which is what I would like to do to wrap this episode up. We're getting close, though. It's oh, 1920. For some reason, I was thinking it was 920. I guess we're not really getting very close at all. Do -do 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 -do. Through the magic of editing, suddenly we have $1,920. And I noticed just at the last moment that uh, we actually had three challenges waiting here that we could have collected the reward from. So we would have had plenty of money to build that zipper if I had uh, noticed that uh, two months ago. But, uh, you know, too late now. So I was thinking of having the queue come along along this, I guess. So if I built it, uh, built it right here, I could make that work fairly well. And if I built it kind of at that weird angle. So let's do that. We're going to place the entrance over here. And uh, I'm guessing that they get on and off right here. So let's place the exit here. I kind of want the exit close to the little booth where they work too. That's where the mechanic will go when the ride breaks down. Let's go ahead and uh, hook up that uh, entry path. Get it near one of these campsites. Uh, that is a campsite, right? Yep. Uh, you'll be happy to know during the downtime I did go through and uh, pull all these things down into the ground so they're not floating anymore. Wasn't quite as tedious as I thought it was going to be. Still was a little tedious, though. Well, that gets us to 100% right off the bat, so no point in fooling around there. Let's make that $14. Nope. Let's try $14. There we go. That's, that's a little better. <laughs> Open that one up. Uh, we're going to call that the uh, Western Zip. I never did uh, rename my roller coaster here, uh, but it's going to be um, what? Uh, oh, I know I had a name for it too, but I can't remember what it was, so we're calling it the Wild West Looper. There we go. How about we change the color of this ride? And uh, I think uh, we are going to call this uh, an episode. Uh, so I hope that you've enjoyed watching uh, this episode. Uh, it's been pretty exciting. Getting that roller coaster running, kind of finishing off Western World for the most part. Um, I guess I can put a little more scenery in around here. And I uh, probably want to put a fence in along along this wall. Look at all this money that we have. We're doing so well. I, I should resist the temptation to hurry up and open up uh, sci-fi land. So maybe I'll do some decorations and stuff over here between episodes, kind of sequester it from the rest of the uh, area. I think that we will have, the, uh, uh, have a connector go through here maybe later on. So we could end up eventually running like the central area along here and just make that all shops and uh, meals and everything and then connect everything off of that central path. Uh, but we'll see. I might have the central path go like straight down and then just do, you know, like six little pocket parks. Although we're going to have plenty of room for another another area over here. Boy, we got, we got tons of options. Um, so we don't really need to worry too much about it yet. Uh, but... Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this. It's been fun uh, playing so far. Like on the like button down below to indicate that you have. And if you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe. Leave some comments in the YouTube area. I like hearing your comments and thoughts and whatnot, suggestions and everything. Uh, so do that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.